new species evolve by a number of mechanisms, which are generally categorized as either allopatric, sympatric, or parapatric speciation mechanisms. Select an option to view. Allopatric speciation requires total genetic isolation by geographic separation. For example, a population of rodents could transfer seeds of the plant to a neighboring valley. The isolated plants must adapt to a different environment. Over time, they develop different traits than the parent population. Eventually, the two populations will not be able to interbreed. Thus, the isolated population has evolved into a new species. New species evolve by a number of mechanisms, which are generally categorized Sympatric speciation occurs without physical separation, most commonly by an increase in a plant's number of chromosomes. When an organism gains additional chromosomes, it's called polyploid. Here we describe the making of a type of polyploid called an allopolyploid. Our plant might interbreed with another plant species in the area. Each of these plants is diploid, but one has two pairs of chromosomes and the other has three pairs. Although these plants are of two distinct species, they can mate. Their haploid gametes fuse to form a hybrid zygote. The hybrid plant can develop, but will likely be sterile, since the mix of chromosomes cannot pair during meiosis. However, a rare mitotic error could occur in the reproductive tissue, doubling the number of chromosomes in a cell. Now, each chromosome can be paired with a homologous chromosome during meiosis. Meiosis proceeds normally in the polyploid reproductive organs, resulting in gametes with five chromosomes each. Self-fertilization produces a fertile hybrid plant, an allopolyploid. The allopolyploid is a new species which can reproduce and thrive. New species evolve. Parapatric speciation results from reproductive isolation between adjacent members of a population. Suppose one edge of the valley becomes a dumping ground for DDT waste. This abrupt change in environment will be mostly destructive to plant growth. Strong selective pressure could lead to a DDT-resistant population. The resistant plants may not be able to breed with the adjacent non-resistant plants. In this case, natural selection was stronger than gene flow, resulting in a new plant species.